How'd you do? Did you get a great looking painting? I really like the use of texture, so I'm hoping you were able to blend that in a bit. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna take these five raw files and drop them into Aurora HDR. In this case, I'm gonna take advantage of alignment and I'll remove the color noise, but everything else should be okay. There's no strong lighting, so I don't need chromatic aberration reduction. Let's create the HDR. I really like how the colors are coming to life here. Let's make this easier to experiment by adding an adjustment layer. This will allow us to apply presets quickly, but introduce blending modes. I'll bring up the preset browser, and let's go here into some of the stronger options like dramatic. I'm gonna apply a dramatic black and white, but instead of leaving it black and white, let's change its blending mode. Something simple, and as I mouse over, notice how quickly things change. Soft light and hard light are both very appealing, and I love how it just puts a little extra oomph into the contrast there, bringing out the feeling of brush strokes in the leaves. Let's add another adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm gonna try something a little bit more dramatic. Let's go with Magical Glow. And I love the blooming colors here, but it's a bit muddy. So we'll try blending that in with Screen Mode. And what that does is drops out the darker areas. And I love this. We're getting this great blooming highlights that seem to have a luminescent quality on the page. Now, you can adjust the mix of those and play with the overall opacity of each adjustment layer. And I'm sure you might have discovered a few other presets with so many to choose from. But the key here is taking advantage of adjustment layers with a blending mode. Now, let's add an image layer. This is gonna allow me to navigate and choose a texture. I included one in the folder with it. That's automatically added on top, and again, just click and try out different blending modes. Notice here how this can create a great feeling of brush strokes. It can be subtle or dramatic. In this case, I'm gonna go with multiply or darken. I think multiply works better. If I toggle that on and off, you'll see just a subtle hint of the brush strokes being introduced before and after. I like how it creates a little bit of an organic feeling like this was painted on a surface. Now, if you want, you can easily duplicate that layer and build that up or try a second blending mode. There with soft light, it's creating a little bit of distressing to the image and I could see more of the texture layered in. In fact, we can even change the stacking order there to get slightly different results as those mix. So it's important to realize that the order that you put things in can have huge results on the end result. In this case, I like this. I feel like it's painted on an old canvas. Some great brush strokes are in there and we brought out a nice amount of contrast in the image and it feels to have a more painted quality. But again, how this comes together is up to you. You can change the stacking orders and come up with any combination that you want to get different results. The use of blending modes and textures is a great way to pull off this painterly effect.